San Francisco's offense is highlighted by versatile players across the board, whether you're looking at Debo Samuel or Christian McCaffrey. And while having versatility is nice, there's also a role for players just playing a specialized role in the offense. And in this video, I want to break down someone that I think is arguably one of the deadliest weapons when it comes to third down in San Francisco. And this guy's name is Jawan Jennings, or as they call him in the Bay, third and Jawan. In this video, we're going to examine Jawan Jennings football career up to his point, including his time at Tennessee and the 49ers before finally concluding with an outlook on Jawan Jennings year. But before we get into all that, let's talk about Juwan Jennings' measurables. He's 6'3 and 215 pounds. He ran his 4-yard dash in 4.72 seconds and had the impressive 10-yard split of 1.58 seconds. In comparison, Christian McCaffrey's 10-yard split is 1.55 seconds. And as many of you guys know, the 10-yard split is just the time it takes the player to run the first 10 yards of his 40-yard dash. This shows the acceleration the player has, which is vital for a position like the wide receiver. So Juwan Jennings having an impressive 10-yard split speaks volumes and maybe even more important than the 40 yard time of 4.7. So with that out of the way, let's jump into some information that may have been helpful to Kyle Shanahan last year during the NFC Championship game. And that's Juwan Jennings actually played quarterback at Blackman High School and he was a pretty good one being a four star recruit being recruited by numerous colleges. Ultimately, Jennings did decide to go to Tennessee playing from 2015 to 2019. And while he transferred positions from quarterback to wide receiver, he did throw a little bit in college too on some nice trick plays, which would be interesting to see Kyle Shanahan incorporate more out of. During Jennings' career at Tennessee, he played in a total of 48 games, amassing 2,153 yards and 14.7 yards per reception and 18 touchdowns to go along with that, as well as throwing in one rushing touchdown. With Jennings' college career over, scouts started examining what Jennings did well and what he needed to work on to be successful in the pros. And the strengths were he's big and strong as well as playing up to his size and catch point. He also demonstrated the ability to be a powerful tackle breaker and that's something the 49ers love, having that yak ability. He also had a nice high percentage of catches that moved the chains, but there were weaknesses to Juwan Jennings' game. He did have kind of tightness of hips and had physical limited ability having only a 4.7 yard 40 yard dash rather than like a 4.4 which is typical for a wide receiver nowadays. But seeing potential in the young wide receiver, the Niners decided to take a flyer on Juwan in the 7th round with pick 3 of that round. In 2021, Juwan Jennings had 24 receptions for 282 yards with 11.8 yards per her reception, and five touchdowns on that year. Moving into 2022, Jawan Jennings had a massive jump in production, receiving the ball 35 times. Attached along with that is 416 yards and 11.9 yards per reception. His touchdown total did go down a little bit, only having one touchdown on 2022. During his time with the Niners, Juwan Jennings has been able to submit himself as the Niners' true big body slot wide receiver that will get you the first down when you need it the most. And while you're thinking about George Kittle or Christian McCaffrey, Juwan Jennings might just be doing a touchdown celebration on your team. These are just my thoughts on the overlooked weapon, Juwan Jennings. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. It would also mean a ton if you liked and subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching.